All right guys, short, quick video today, how to build up your box's hand speed on the mitts with a relatively simple combination. So I've posted this before and it's, I call it the two, three, four, five drill. Now, how do you get the hand speed? It's simply by pushing your boxes to punch faster, punch harder. How do you get the power? Tell them to punch harder and faster. Even if they think they're giving hundred percent, you can get more out of them than they think. And that's what it's about as a coach is getting your clients out of that comfort zone. That's why they're coming to you as a coach. All right, so the, here's the combinations. Uh, we're gonna go right uppercut, left hook. That's two punches, so we call that two. Right uppercut, left hook, right hand. That's three punches, so we call that three. So for four punches, we're gonna add another hook. So uppercut, hook, cross, hook. That's four punches, we call that four. And then for five, we're gonna add a cross to that. So five is gonna be uppercut, hook, cross, hook, cross, okay? Now for the drill right here, you can use this for time. You can set a clock for 30 seconds, a minute, depending on the fitness of your boxer. And it's up to you as the coach, simply call out the number and your boxer to react. Great for developing the concentration as well because your boxer has to be switched on for when you're gonna call the combo and what combo you're gonna call. So now we've developed the patterns with the boxer, they know what they are, should look something like this. Two, three, four, three, three, two, two, five, Good. So there's a quick example of how you would put it into practice. Now, that was pretty explosive and fast, right? And that's tough just over a short burst, even if it's just 10, 15 seconds. We want those quick bursts. That's what pays off in boxing and in just general fitness, right? Now, if I want to get a little bit more, I can just give them audio cues to push my boxer through that comfort zone or out of that comfort zone. All right, so keep the numbers at random. Keep your boxer guessing. Make it unpredictable what you're going to call. Five. Faster. Good, see straight away I got a faster version the second time round. If we bring the numbers down, we can ask for more power. Two, harder. Three, harder. Harder. Two, harder. Dig. Turn the hips. Four, faster. Five, good. Rest. How are you feeling? <laughs> So there we worked on power on the twos and threes, right? And you can say harder, sit down on the punches more, turn your hips more, sit into your legs, tighten your fists, exhale. All those cues that we know get the power out of the punches, right? So it's up to you as your box is doing it, which cues you wanna use to get that power. For the speed, we worked on that once we got up in the three, four, five, really letting those fast hands go. Your boxer thinks they're throwing at 100% effort and 100% hand speed. As Soon as they hear faster, it forces that extra level of effort out of them. So just a quick drill right there combinations you can use, take them into your sessions, really push your boxers and your clients out of their comfort zones, get more hand speed, get more power out of them, get more performance out of them. Hope you like this one. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna learn how to improve your hand speed on the heavy bag, check out this video right here.